Ready? Okay. So, uh, Shelby, just take a little break there. We were just going through the basics when we're getting on them horse. I always check them out, you know. Uh, don't take anything for granted. They, so I use my flag, I move them around and get them. And then what you do is you start just backing off. So it, the horse will tell you how much it, you need. And this little mare is telling me less and less all the time. But <clears throat> yeah, it would be still something that I would do. The groundwork is something that's really helped me out. When I was a kid growing up, uh, we didn't have that. So we used the two pull method and that was pull your cinch up and your hat down and climb on and sometimes you went a little faster than you wanted to to start with. So this little mare has seen cattle. Uh, she's been around them a little bit but she really hasn't interacted with them too much and these little heifers we've got here they're 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 quiet they're nice gentle ones so I wouldn't want to have a little two-year-old and say maybe take them and put them in a little pen of buck and bread brahmas and stuff that more like to chase your horse out of the pen. These cattle are pretty quiet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step her around the herd here a little bit. Might just trot her around here a little bit, get her busy. Tom is here helping me today. He rode deered her, rode deered the cattle, I should say. And what rodeer means, it's a Spanish word and it means to go around. The word roundup and the word rodeo derived it is from the word rodeer. So what he's done is he's trotted around these cattle and kind of let them understand that the soft spot is in the middle of the pen right there. So if they went to the outside, he'd kind of bump them and put them back in. And I would do the same thing on a little colt once she's understanding that she can move a cow. So as I'm moving around here on my colt, these cattle are pretty quiet. And you wouldn't have to use a herd to do this. If you only had maybe a couple at home, a couple cattle. So, you know, we, we've got some cattle here. And so we can, we stuck enough in here that we have a nice little herd. Uh, but if you only had maybe, you know, a couple pale bunner calves or something at home, you could do a similar deal. She's interested, her ears are up. So what I might do right now, she's going around these cattle, I might look for a cow that's in the right position that she could roll in and interact with it and maybe move it away. Now I'm not getting in a hurry, like I said earlier, she's just a baby. I want her to enjoy this. I want her thinking about a cow. I want her to be curious about it. I don't want her to dread this. I don't want her to think every time I, I step around cattle that it's gonna be, you know, pretty fast and maybe intimidating. And like I was talking a little earlier about how I'd have her before I'd introduce her to cattle would be as you as you can see, we can direct her. She reigns not too bad. I mean green, she's just a little baby. When I ride around here, when I sit down, quit going, she feels of me and stops. If she didn't, when I sat down, I'd let her go. We talk about this in all our courses too, of uh, the positions that you're riding your horse, whether you're in position three or whether you're in position two or position one. I'm riding her in position two here with life. If I come around here and I sit down and go to position three, she feels there that she drew right there too because we've been working on that a little bit. So I go to position three and shift her weight back a little bit. I'll start that right from the get-go on these little guys. I should say little girls, this is a little filly. To where when I'll stop them, I'll get them to rock back. I want to have them handling good enough that if, if they got bothered, I wouldn't have to make a, a real big move to help them, if that makes sense. If, if I had them to where they were just super green that you hardly could, hardly could send them anywhere and bend them and turn them, and you stuck them in with some cattle, well, if they got bothered, there, now here's a little one that wants to move. If they got bothered and you had to direct them, well, you'd have to make such a big move that you would take their mind off the cows. 
I want her thinking about a cow. Now right here I have a volunteer. There we go. Now I'm, I'm not looking to stop this cow or do anything like that. I just want my little filly here to understand that she can move that cow. If I step her to this cow's hip, let her sniff it a little bit, she can interact with it and she can move it. Right there, now the cow goes back to the herd. I release. Now I might just go and move her around. A little more here. And what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm looking for a cow that goes to the right spot. Like this little black one. This little black one kind of went to the outside of the bunch and went to a really good position for me to just kind of peel it off. And here now I'm going to go. And Tom, you're going to come down here and keep them off the wall. You're going to put them back in the middle, Tom, if they come down here. I'm going to do some of it too. But maybe even if you sat down there on the elk gate. Good help is hard to find. I'm just kidding. Tom is good help. Good. I really, when I'm doing this, I just, I'm, I'm really aware of, of my, my filly's ears. She'll tell me by where her ears are where she's thinking and, and whether she's relaxed. As you can see just by her ears there that she's, she's real curious. She's interested in these little twerps, these little cows. And, and these are just ideal. Just as you can see, just nice and quiet. I, I've started colts for the first time on cattle where I've used buffalo too. Uh, and, but with the buffalo, I would just have one in the pen at a time and it would be a quiet buffalo. Something that when you step to it, it would just walk away and, and not leave in a big hurry. I, I don't want my horse to be, to be bothered, to think this is scary. Here's my stop, a little back up there. I'm gonna turn her. Maybe go around the other way, go around clockwise. She's getting better about understanding my feet. When I mean understanding my feet, I like to be able to tip her nose and use my feet to direct her more than my reins. But this is that little blaze faced red cow that we were out with a little earlier that was just real gentle and quiet. So I might just go to this cow's hip, tuck it back in, and go around again. So I just kind of build, she's, she's really relaxed. I might just see if I can just ride through this herd here and have her not bothered. Let her sniff them a little bit. I wouldn't want my horse to be chewing on them, biting on them, but I have got no problem at this stage to where her, she just goes in there and maybe sniffs on them a little bit. Okay, now they kind of spread out a little bit, so I just might move them around and put them back together again. So I might give her a little job here. So this would be the way I would set it up and it wouldn't matter if this mare was going to be a rope horse, a ranch horse, a cotton horse or a cow horse. Personally, I, I want all my horses to be able to, there my, my little herds back together again. So what we're doing right there is we're rodeering them and that's what you would do 
Uh, even if you're maybe on an older horse and you were just training your cattle, you know, we talk all the time about on Cowboy Campus about training our horses, but you train your cattle too. If you want your, ha your cattle to behave good, you've got to teach them that the right way that you want them to be. So we've got these cattle to where they'll stand quietly in the middle and look out and I can see here that we have a few runny eyes. We just got them in. We might have to do a little doctoring. So. This is how I would introduce it. I would just keep it slow like that. Uh, I want it to be a good experience for her and I always want to have it to where I leave a little water in the well and what I mean by that is I want her wanting tomorrow when I show her a cow and we come out there she says oh that was something we did yesterday. Geez that was fun I'd like to do that a little bit and, and I do it to a point tomorrow to where I'd always quit too before she got tired of it. The next stage, what we're going to be doing with them is once I've got her to where she's really relaxed, as she is right now, I mean, shoot, she's quiet about it like that, is I just work one cow at a time to where I can have her step to that cow, drive it, get her to move it around where she'd understand that if she went to its hip, she could move it forward, and if she got up to its neck or past its shoulders like that, she could stop it. So you would just build. But this is the first step on how I'd introduce uh, a young horse to work in cattle, or being around cattle.